Hello, everybody. The thing is that my dad has bags full of dusty fossils hidden all around the house, and sometimes he takes them out to search through a pile to see if he finds interesting pieces to tell a story. But it's not always possible because some specimens may be hard to identify. We decided to compile a virtual collection of curious fossils and we'll present it to you, hoping to get some help. And if you are not an expert, join us anyway and you will learn something new today. I promise. Exhibit number one, a piece with tiny pores on the surface. It was found in Carboniferous deposits in Texas. It could be a fragment of a crab's claw. Although the crabs first appeared during the Jurassic period, some crab-like fossils, such as Imocaris, are known from Carboniferous time. Our piece, however, does not look like an Imocaris. It could also be some kind of dental or armor plate from an ancient fish. What do you think? Exhibit number two is a rock with wavy surface and layered cross section that has somewhat serrated pattern. It could be an algal mate, similar to a stromatolite, although stromatolites usually have distinct circular growth rings. Species unknown, but must be quite slippery when this was alive. Exhibit number three, a tiny piece that we think belonged to a digestive apparatus of a crinoid or a starfish, possibly of a sea urchin or any other echinoderm for that matter. Echinoids have a complex anatomy with many various parts. Could it be part of a tube that in some crinoid species was located in the middle of a crinoid crown and served to extrude processed food? Did you know that crinoids can crawl? In the description to this video, we have a link to another YouTube video that shows a modern day crinoid moving along the bottom. This is a reminder that crinoids are not plants. They are animals similar to starfish. How fascinating is that? Another puzzle. It's either a coprolite or a cast of a burrow made by a shrimp-like creature that lived in the muddy sediment at the bottom of the sea. Some host shrimp, for instance, cover their burrows with the poo pellets. I guess it helped with the integrity of the structure. This black, shiny rock looks like a piece of a trilobite, but it is a fragment of a conularia, a mysterious extinct animal with a lifestyle similar to corals, kind of sedentary jellyfish with protective plates and probably tentacles. So it seems like it's a conularia, but who can name the species? Conulariids built their exoskeletons from calcium phosphate, unlike echinoids that have endoskeletons made of calcium carbonate. Sometimes pearls can be found inside of paraconularia specimens. Here is a fragment of a crinoid stem with some outgrowth caused by an organism that was either a parasite or just used the crinoid stem as a place to anchor to. These pit-forming organisms are described in the literature either as boring sponges or as organisms of uncertain classification called Phosphanulus. Phosphanulus is distinguished by the presence of flanged funnels the presence of funnels containing phosphates. Do you feel how chemistry is connected to paleontology? There are many ancient mysteries that are waiting to be uncovered using mineral composition of the fossils. The color of dinosaur skin is one of many examples. It was shown that the tubes of phosphanulus did not reach the canal inside of the crinoid stem, suggesting that these creatures were not parasites. I wonder if some creature similar to conularia were attached to the crinoids and leaving their phosphate tubes. This is a protective spine of a crinoid that used to decorate its crown, so-called calyx spine. But what is the species? Who knows? If you do know, don't be shy and help us to identify it by leaving a comment. Coprolite is a fancy name for fossilized droppings, and this is one of them. 
lost by some small shark or a ray. Studying coprolites is a serious business. They may provide tons of information on animal diets, as well as revealing who was a predator and who was prey. Perhaps this low-profile piece of rock holds a secret of a shark meal. For now, we will call the specimen coprolite indeterminate, because we do not really know to what specific species it belongs. Okay, I hope it was an interesting video to watch. At least now, you can recognize fossilized poo among other rocks. Please subscribe to keep in touch, and see you next time! Bye-bye!